Hello there. It's been a while. I don't know if I have a lot of stuff or nothing to say. I don't know. I probably have a lot of stuff, but I'm confused about a lot of things in life and I don't know where to start. Um, essentially, I've been a bit stuck both on my both in my YouTube life and in my and my personal life. Life is quite complicated right now. I mean, I'm lacking a lot of inspiration and motivation, but it kind of makes sense when you live in the middle of a pandemic. There's a war going on right now that is also pretty stressful. PhD life is also pretty stressful. And if you add on top of that, the pressure of making, the pressure that I um, put on top of myself of making good content and content that I like that I'm proud of, then that's that's a lot. That's a lot. And I haven't been able to to create anything that is related to my main channel in a couple of months now. And that's too much. And I have to put, a, put a, an end to this thing and start creating again. And I don't know why I have, I am like this. I, I feel like I'm kind of scared of starting something new because I know how much time and energy it takes me to create a video and I just don't have the energy to do it but maybe I should just like do it slowly not create too much pressure on me and start somewhere I have a lot of scripts actually that I've been working on I just have to shoot and put everything together edit create some animation um, but I don't know, I just don't find the energy. So instead I thought, hmm, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna think about what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take the camera and I'm just gonna turn it on, start talking. At least I'm starting to create something and I can do that a few times, get used to be in front of the camera again and then and then I can move on to making something a bit more elaborated, a bit more, I don't know, more in line with what I do on my main channel. Hmm. Yeah, I've been, it's, I don't know, it feels, I ha it feels like I have a, respons a form of responsibility, I have a commitment with my audience on my main channel and, um, And I haven't done much lately and it feels like I have been avoiding making content so of course sometimes I was I just didn't have the energy but sometimes I had a I had burst of energy but I didn't spend them to make content I spend them to I don't know, I had this obsession for a few months now for CRT TVs, which I hope I can, I will have the opportunity to talk about in one of my next videos sometimes. Yeah, I had a burst of energy and I started coding and if you're watching this video, you probably know my last video on my main channel, which is about Omen and AI that we made with a friend, which is based on me. And I spent the last, I don't know, two or three weeks every evening just coding to, to make a Discord bot. So right now on my Discord server, you can interact with this AI. You can talk with it um, and you can also ask it to, uh, to create art. Um, and I've never done this before. So I just found the energy and I was so captivated by the idea of creating something like that, giving the opportunity to people to uh, interact with Omen that I just, I don't know, I just, it was a rabbit hole. 
with a rabbit hole also because just this uh, option to create art through AI, which I find crazy, crazy cool and also kind of kind of scary. I made some stuff maybe right now on the screen. I will just show you some of the art that uh, that it's not Omen that made it because I didn't program the uh, um, the actual models that create art, but um, you can ask the Discord bot, Omen the Discord bot, to make this art using codes that are open source. Uh, but it's it's pretty pretty amazing, and I'm been mind blown a few times, and it's, it's just crazy cool. So yeah, just uh, just gonna sh show them a few, uh, show a few of them to you now, and you can also go to to this server. I didn't make the entire video to push you to come to the Discord server, but uh, if you're not there yet, you, you can go and try. You don't have to stay if you don't want, but you can try to talk to Omen, and it's a pretty cool experience, in my opinion, because uh, I'm sure a lot of people never try talking to an AI, and now it's a possibility. And I'm very curious to know what's gonna happen in 10 years, when right now we are already you know, we have this, this new models that are like exponentially more powerful and I have no idea what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen with AI in 10 years from now. Even like five or three, four years from now, it's gonna, it's gonna really change the world. Something I should maybe address more in my YouTube videos, I don't know. That's another thing. I don't know what to, um, like I have... So I started talking about marine biology and then I drifted a little bit and I started talking about toys and things that are somehow related to science and curiosity. Then I started talking about electronics, then I started talking about stuff that I can talk about when I'm traveling uh, with the Malmuel. I went to Sweden, for example. Um, and I don't know, I could start talking about AI, I could start talking about anything. And I have this this hard time um, making. Oh, my screen actually was acting as a oh, as a lighting for my face. Um, I have a hard time focusing on yeah, on a few topics, and maybe I should maybe I should be more consistent consistent and and uh, and focus only on on a couple of topics maybe three topics and i'll do 10 things at the same time but i also have this thing that i just i just want to do everything i want to do everything i want to talk about everything i want to try everything i want to i want to put make music put a lot of animation 2d animation 3d animation put some storytelling in the middle um and and sometimes it works and I'm very proud of that. Sometimes it's just like way too much. But because some of the time where I tried to do all of that together worked, now I have kind of a, my, the standard I aim to is, I'm in, I aim at and aim to is like higher. I wanna make, I wanna always make videos like my last video on AI, I wanna make, videos the same quality as the um, the Malmuel video which are which took me months to make and I feel like if now I make a quack video which generally takes me like two or three days to make then I'm not gonna be satisfied and satisfaction is something I already talked about before but I don't know it feels like it's kind of a recurring team in my life and I should maybe I should address that with a therapist or something <laughs> but yeah being satisfied um, I will work on it so I think I think it's good now I, I would like to I'm gonna try I'm, I can't promise you anything but uh, I think it would be good if now I start talking to you a little bit more like this we can talk about stuff I can make more vlogs and then slowly maybe this weekend when a few more um, when I feel more accustomed to being in front of the camera and filming stuff and more in the video making mood then I I make a video 
So the next video is probably going to... Can you hear that? So yeah, I'm in my new house. I also have to make another, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I'll do another vlog and I'll show you around my new studio. But right under here, in front of my house, which is an intersection and I live close to a hospital. Um, and so there's a lot of traffic, but at least two or three times a day, you can hear the um, an ambulance and the ambulance that just turn on the sirens do you call the sirens the thing that goes like wee, wee, wee. and uh and to just turn them on so that they can cross the intersection without having to stop and i live right in front of it so that's pretty annoying especially if i'm filming something did I give you too much information? Can you kind of like, can you find my house now based on what I just told you? Don't try that. Don't come to my house, please don't. Hmm. Okay, but I think I think it might work. Um, in the next few days, maybe what I can do is uh, I can talk to you about my the rabbit hole of AI. I can talk to you about... Um, <laughs> CRT TVs, maybe. Um, I have a lot. One, two, three, four. I think I got six at home. I think I have a problem, an addiction to to CRT TVs. Um, is CRT Catholic Ray Tube TV? No, CRT TV. So the T in CRT doesn't stay for tele. Doesn't doesn't mean television. So it means tube CRT TV. Okay, I can say CRT TV. So maybe I can do a video on CRT TVs. Uh, I have a, a video in mind, which is going to be about analogic an analog, analog versus digital, um, which involves a very old CRT TV that I found for free. And I'm like super happy about it. And it's beautiful. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show that to you. Um, and then I can talk to you about my new house. Why did I move to a new house? How is my studio looking? And um, maybe I can talk to you about my next projects. I'm gonna travel a lot next month and I I really wanna shoot a lot of videos in, um, I'm actually traveling to, to, to Lisbon, to Portugal in general and to Edinburgh. And I really wanna make the most of my of my travel there. I'm not traveling on purpose for YouTube, but since I am there, I wanna go around and, and, and film stuff. I've contacted a few people there, a few institutions where I would like to film. Nobody answered, so I have to send other emails, but yeah, hopefully I can film something pretty cool over there. Um, yeah, so let's try to do this. I'm going to push myself to do not daily vlogs, but maybe vlogs every two days until I found the energy to make a proper video. Yeah, I think that sounds, that sounds reasonable. I'm doing good. If you are asking yourself, oh, I don't want to be a drama queen either. You know, life is not easy. Uh, it's not easy for anybody, I guess, in, in this period in particular. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm not bad. Um, um, it's not a, how do you say, a cry, a scream for help, a cry for help. I don't, I don't need your help. I'm a grown up. Um, no, I, I just, I just, I just, I don't have anything to ask. Just maybe to understand that if I'm not producing anything right now, it's because I need, I need some time to go back on, on the rails. I'm translating, translating a lot of um, back on track, back on track. Uh, a lot of uh, what I think are expressions in other languages to English, and I'm not sure if it makes sense. Sometimes you can tell me um, in the comments if I say something that doesn't make sense in, um, in English. Um, yeah, just, just tell me. Okay, well, it really, it already feels good, I think. 
I haven't been in front of the camera for like so long. Um, oh, can I watch my face? Oh, that is my face. Should I shave? I, I, I never had like very a very long mustache and I thought mm, maybe I should like let it uh, let it grow so that I can go kind of like Dali no maybe Dali is too long but uh, who has a mustache like this Hercule Poirot or hmm do I look bad I look bad I have a terrible mustache my facial hair is, doesn't look very good but yeah I mean it's my facial hair I shouldn't I shouldn't I shouldn't um, feel bad about it I should like it I'm actually very very happy that I do not have too much facial hair so I grew up in Italy in the south of Italy and all my friends had way more hair than me and, um, and I was kind of uh, a little bit envious when I was younger I guess because everybody had like all oh, beard and mustache and I only started growing this maybe when I was 25 which is like four years ago um, but I don't know now no, I, I like my body my body is pretty cool um, I'm pretty much grateful so, yeah I, I think I think when we reach the point where we start talking about my body I think it's the end of the video <laughs> Um, okay, um, well, I'll talk to you in a couple of days then. Bye!